Hello and welcome to yet another cube draft. Uh, this is number 71. Uh, we open Stoneforge Mystic. Yes, it's not the absolute nuts, but it's an okay card. I think it's better than Tassa because um, there's not that many blue permanent cards that you actually want and be aggressive and so on and so on. I think Stoneforge Mystic is pretty good. Tassa might even wheel, although very unlikely. This might wheel, but then we're blue. Um, but you know, Stoneforge Mystic, being able to get an equipment, uh, which could be better skull, any kind of other sort. Emrakul is also in here. Now, I actually haven't managed to play with that card yet. Um, just because you have to pick up something like Sneak Attack or Channel and then get this past, which seems very unlikely. But out of this pack, I think Stoneforge Mystic is, has the most potential. And it's easy to, you know, not play the card if you don't want to. Uh, Blade Splicer obviously fits in the team, it generates two creatures to put your equipment on. Um, Whipcorder might even wheel, uh, Karakas might wheel, which is okay. Dark Confident is fine and might wheel. Um, although, as I, I said before, I actually don't like that color combination. Shapeshifter is in here, which is pretty good, and if I picked up Tassa, I think I would pick this then. But uh, for now, Blade Splicer will do. And then we get past Kiora. Um, do we go three colors then and just play Kiora? Maybe green and just splash it. Like there's also Fauna Shaman. Kiora is pretty solid in my opinion. And maybe Breeding Pool Wheels. Thing is, if I pick Fauna Shaman, someone to my left is gonna go green and then cut Kiora so I think I pick Kiora see which of the other two colors I go and splash the other one I think that's doable um, people might, might think me crazy because Kiora isn't that super in an aggro deck like um, it's more of a control card but I think the card is just sick enough like it stops a permanent of your opponent uh, no matter what and then we get past Snapcaster Mage Hallowed Fountain, Strangle Root Geist. Uh, Cut of the Hammer, of course, as well, as well but meh. Um, this is a tough one. Like, Snapcaster Mage is okay, but I'm not gonna have that many instants and sorceries. Hallowed Fountain already fixes, and it seems very likely that I'll be white with somewhat of a blue splash. But then. Strangle Root Geist isn't that strong because it's gonna be double green. Uh, yeah, let's go for the Fountain. It's a pretty weak Forts pick, but at least we get a Meloku Pest here. Uh, Meloku probably is the better card. Like it generates tokens. It's a good creature on its own. If you get an opposition, this card is bonkers. Uh, we're gonna be blue anyway, so might as well pick it up here. Not much else we're passing outside of either out of them. Maybe the Descendant, uh, Jungle Shrine fixes, but I don't think Elite Vanguard, so there's one, two, three, four cards I wouldn't mind seeing wheel. Um, but we'll see. Ancestral Visions is a good one. Wooded Bastion is okay, but uh, not really the fix I'm looking for. And I think Visions, given that it draws me cards, is a bit better. So we're probably blue, white, splashing green here at this point. It's gonna give us some issues with finding good creatures, but we get a certain dip for it, so that's a good one. Uh, Helmer Depth, we would mind seeing wheel, and it might even wheel. Like, a lot of these cards are good. Um, ben Charm, we could play. I'm not really a fan of this, this is the fix I want. Uh, we might even play this. Like, it puts a creature on the bottom of its owner's library, so it's basically removal. It is in my colors, um, and it can also counter things, so and just in case I need to destroy an artifact, I can. So it's an okay card, like, it's not a 3-drop, of course, it's probably more like a 5-drop, uh, depending on the amount of things fix I'm gonna get, but I think it's a good enough card to pick there. Like, nothing else in the pack is gonna get played. So we're 8 picks deep, we're gonna see our opening pack again. Uh, Dexus did wheel, but so did the Temple Garden. Like Dexus is a fine card, but I think I need the Temple Garden for the fix if I want to do this. Um, so might as well pick it up here. Like there's three cards that I could play. Like Dexus wheels, so probably no one should be my colors. 
Um, unless like the person to my left is and he picked Tassaf, second pick. That's a possibility. But I don't think I can pass up a temple garden given that I already have two green cards and we're looking to go bound um, in colors. What is it in, like in Dutch it's called band, but in, in English it's probably something like band charm. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, but that's how I would pronounce it. Uh, obviously, I do not have any degree in <laughs> English uh, language, so I might be wrong on that one. Don't trust me. Actually, I never trust anyone. Always think for yourself. Uh, you can believe some stupid things, but just wonder and ponder about it if it can be correct. Uh, so here, whip quarter. Like Black did wheel, Dark Comfort is in there, but I mean, we already committed to the other colors. Crumbling Necropolis isn't the fix you want. Whip Quarter can't tap down creatures. There's Crucible, which doesn't do much for us, but Dismantling Blow does, and Force Spike does. I think Dismantling Blow is a bit better as a sideboard card. Um, it's a 3 mana disenchant, but. Oh, God, wheels. Um, just pick the Terminus, we might play that. Not gonna hate draft. Um, it's a good sideboard card, like if you need to destroy something early on you just do it and if you do something later on um, you get to draw two cards with it. So that's always a good one. Uh, so what do we want to open? Probably better skull. Shit, although we're not that creature heavy. I think we rather have like a really powerful equipment such as better skull. Maybe a sword, but I, I really think better skull is probably the best equipment we can open. Just because we're somewhat controlish. Jungle Shrine wheels, but so does Descendant. Descendant is a pretty good one. It's a 2 3 for 3, which is okay, but then a 3 5 that, well, doesn't really have lifelink, uh, but it's close. And then Kami is there, uh, which you might main deck, although very unlikely. <sighs> Man, I still can't believe that. I think last draft it was, or two drafts ago where my opponent cast treachery on my Kami of Ancient Law. Sure it was a 2 for 1, he got my hammer, but it seems pretty weird to do so. I think it was an aggro deck, right? So Chaos Warp build. Uh, what did I want to wheel out of back? It was like maybe this with the land, I'm not sure. So breeding pool didn't wheel, so someone is blue green, I guess. Um, so that's a bit annoying, given that we are those colors. Um, yeah, I don't have my mouse in my hand, that's why it jumps to that. <laughs> I'm just looking at these cards. Not a lot of exciting things. Like there's no equipment in here. There's Phantasmal Image, Sim, Sky Swallower, Court Hussar. Hmm. There's not much of my own that I actually wanna copy with Phantasmal Image, so it's mostly gonna be the opponent's cards. I don't think I want Simming Sky Swallow, despite it being pretty solid, uh, just because it's in my splash. And then it's Cortusar, which still isn't that great. Uh, maybe I just pick the Hinterland Harbor, as weird as it sounds, and see what wheels. Because none of these cards are that appealing to me, and I think having the fix is a bit more important. Um, so we get a channel, uh, which we can't do much with if we first picked Emroko. But there's also Angel, which probably is a pick here. A really oh, there's Vencer. Hmm. There's Vencer and Angel, and I really like this Angel to be honest. Like it's pretty pretty strong. But my late game should be okay given the colors I'm in. And there's Sphinx's Revelation. Why am I even thinking about this? Slam the Sphinx's Revelation, win, the, win games. Maybe one of these two will. Um, maybe into the roll. So there's only three cards out of that pack of one wheel. But I don't think I can pass up the Sphinx's Revelation. The card is pretty bonkers. Um, maybe a bit too much. There's Dungeon Geist, Hero, Looter, Debalances. Wow, plenty of blue. 
I think Dungeon Geist is a stronger creature. We have no use for Ludruk or Triggers at this point, outside of fixing. Uh, Dungeon Geist is just a strong creature. One of these for Might Wheel. Uh, Harmonize White Wheel. Grim Monolith might even wheel, but uh, it's not really a card I'm looking to play. So let's just pick the Dungeon Geist. There are different strategies, right? Usually you want to go for, uh, or I tend to go for, uh, really strong singleton cards. So no matter draw, as long as your mana is fine, you're gonna have decent cards in your hand and be able to play magic. Um, while other people tend to go for some synergy uh, and they pick up like Monolith and, and Dynamo and so on. So Mana League versus Mirren Crusader. We have eight creatures. I think we do want to counter, but it's Mana League the counter that we want compared to a pretty strong, strong creature. Um, we can cut blue a little bit. Like this is the only white card. Uh, we're not gonna be casting that many two drops. Yeah, just pick the Mana League. Um, we're already pretty heavy on the three drops. Well, heavier than on two drops, and we're gonna be able to cast turn two mana leak often enough. Um, Exalted Angel is good. Wall of Reverence is fine. Reverarch is okay, but I think Exalted Angel is a bit better. Still don't like this card. Um, Wall is obviously a pretty solid card, but I think I want a creature, a flying creature that attacks like these fill the same slot. Uh, basically, flying blocker or life linker. Uh, and I think Exalted Angel is then much better, and maybe even the wall wheels, just because people don't really appreciate it as much as it should. Uh, Exalted Angel could also be a tree drop, of course. Um, so not that unhappy that I picked Mana Leak over uh, Mirren Crusader, because now I just added another tree drop to my slots. Like blue has a plenty of tree drops, so white has plenty of tree drops. Um, so yeah. There's the Yavimaya Coast. Um, Johnny Goldman is solid, but we're not like we're not gonna be that aggro that we want a Johnny, I think. And there's another fix in here compared to Eiderling or Jushi. I think I'm gonna go for the fix. Um, mm, we have five cards that can wheel. Which is somewhat likely. Uh, there's Kira, which I think I'll pick. It's probably the better card here. Uh, there's a Chroma, Kira, and Enclave. Uh, Kira is just a good card. There's Sun Titan. Um, I think Sun Titan is better than Cloud God Ranger, given that we do have a bunch of three and two drops. Uh, with Blade Splicer, it's pretty good. Cloud God Ranger is, of course, a good card, but I think Sun Titan is a bit better. Like if I can pick up um, more good cards, like Cortisar here is probably the pick. Uh, allows me to find cards I want and with Sun Titan it's okay, like you just look at the top 3 every time you attack with it. Because it always keeps on dying because you never pay the white with it uh, when you get it back with Sun Titan. Uh, so Bench Arm, Sphinx's goes to there. Scalding Tarn can only fetch Hallowed Fountain, so not really what I want. So probably into the roll then. Might not play the Terminus, of course. Given that we're somewhat creature based ourselves. So this is a late game drop. Whip quarter my well, we still need uh something for the Stoneforge. So both Seagate and Deep Analysis wheels. Seagate has value with Sun Titan, Deep Analysis don't. Um, so let's pick up the Seagate. Uh, I guess we'll pick up Smother, doesn't really matter here. So as set wall might wheel, and it does. And a Johnny even wheels. Um, I think given that we do have like a bunch of stupid drops here, I think a Johnny is a bit better than Near Hit Pilgrim. Uh, but for some odd reason it picked near hit pilgrim for us so guess we have no choice anymore um <laughs> someone's gonna get the last pick a Johnny so no equipment uh there is a fate feathers 
Uh, Ranger of Eos doesn't do anything for us. Geos Cradle is in our splash, so it doesn't do much for us. Spirit Bonds isn't a card I really like. So it's gonna be Fate's Feathers. Uh, there's Forbid, but I mean, Fate's Feathers is a really solid removal. Uh, there's the Fairy, there's Yose, there's Karmic Guide, there's Glacial Fortress, there's Coalition Relic. I think I want the Yose. Um, the Fairy is, of course, a good card. But Yose, I really like. I'm not sure what's better. Like, we did get a lot of strong white cards to wield, so might as well wield this. Um, and pick up the fairy. Uh, what do we want out then? Like, we have one card too much, probably Terminus. And Stoneforge so far. Like, Kami might be gone. Like, near hit Pilgrim. Ah, man. It's okay, I guess. Um, <laughs> given that we can give something like this lifelink or whatever. And it actually works with stuff like Exal Exalted Angel because they're separate triggers. Like this isn't lifelink, so you can have lifelink plus this. And the same is true for Descendant. Um, it isn't lifelink. So there's Future Side, but there's obviously Condemn. Uh, there's a bunch of green cards that I cannot use, but there's also Brushland. Uh, Brushland over. Condemn. And we do need one more fix. This is the only removal I would have. Nah, I think I need to go for the fix. Uh, I do need it. There's a bird, but I. Ro oh man, there's opposition. I'm, I'm not even thinking twice about this. There's no way I'm picking this. Like, opposition is a nuts card. Um, so now we have 25, 23 cards. Uh, no clue why I did this again. But getting an opposition right now with already 15 creatures and a Meloku uh, has to be the pick. It's unreal how good that card is. Uh, here we'll pick Porcelain Legionnaire. Uh, it's a solid blocker, it's a solid attacker. Uh, nothing else here appeals to me outside of the Muta Vault. Um, so let's pick a Legionnaire. Now we have to cut another creature. <laughs> um, there's also Parallax Wave now and Spectral Procession. Um, maybe Sphere the Suns is a bit better. Parallax Wave. I don't think we're gonna be that pressed against creatures, and don't think we really need Spectral Procession. So just go for the Fix and uh, Acceleration. Hmm. So now I have. One, uh, two cards too many. Because I picked up Legionnaire, so maybe we want Kira. Nah, Kami might be out, or Whipcorder might be out. Like Whipcorder doesn't have an extra effect if we have a position in play. Plus, it costs double white. Yeah, let's cut this already. Mm, this is a two drop. This is a three drop. So three is pretty heavy. Um, might want to cut one of those, but I wouldn't. Well, Sphinxes isn't one, and I think Bench Arm isn't one either. We're gonna decide on that later on, and I mean we still have cards to go, so um, still haven't decided. Like we might even will Yose. Do I then play it? Hmm. Tough questions. Tough questions. There's days, there's oust, there's blue elemental blast. Um I think oust is the bear card we passed up on Condemn. Blue Elemental Blast is fine, but it probably fills the same role as Oust. Uh not much here for me, so I'll just pick up engineered explosives and not play it. And have it as a sideboard card against someone that runs a bunch of tokens. You never know. I might not play the oust either. So this is our opening pack, which was Spirit Terrible. Um, so Spirit Bounce is in my colors. That's about it, right? Um, just a bad card, so. It says whenever non token creatures in the mouth. If, if. 
if it didn't cost mana to gain spirit tokens or at least not white mana um, then it might be okay but even then um, it's not that great uh, the secondary effect is pretty solid like giving indestructible to a bunch of creatures but it's more of like even like how do you even build a deck around this it just slows your deck so much and you have to pay three mana before you first get a 1-1 one, one white spirit token uh, so yes, this wheel uh, we're, we're, we're godlike, like we knew it would wheel uh, because the yeah, Ajani wheel, wheel wheeler as well um, so there's a condemn which obviously is better than the oust but no clue why this wheels guess no one wants to be white uh, seal of cleansing, good sideboard card so 27 cards really with the vault wheels uh, can't really play it I think given that we are gonna splash are we gonna splash? Like if we don't splash then all of these picks are <laughs> useless um, spectral possession wheels well maybe we don't splash now and taste wheels wow so our last picks are somewhat good so we did didn't get an equipment uh, that's a bit annoying excuse me Come on, get me to the deconstruction. Okay. So this is probably a five drop. This is a three drop. This is a late game drop. This is a two drop. And that's it. Um How does our late game look? Our late game seems pretty strong, seeing that we have oppositions, Sphinxes, Sun Titan, Meloku. So I think our late game is solid enough. Um that we don't necessarily need these two to be a winning deck in the late game. So then surviving the early game. Uh, we have 28 cards and so we need to cut 5 cards. Uh, this accelerates us, which is good. It accelerates us into these. And in Kiora. I, I really think I want to keep Kiora. I probably don't want to play this. Might not want to play bench arm given that I now have two outs here. Probably not a Kami. Um, given that, like, yes, it's a two drop, but it's not that great. Um, you probably wanted a sideboard option. These seem fine because they actually dig me deeper to my opposition, which is a good reason to keep them in. Don't want to cut too many of these because we do want some interaction with Sun Titan. Uh, it's like why is it still 33 but it's actually 25 because these three should be considered cut. I think we want Oust out for now. Just keep in the condemn. And then one more to go. The fairy. The fairy is pretty good though. It's so heavy on the blue. Maybe the descendant is gone and we just bring it in. Like cut this, we have plenty of tree drops. Uh one, two, three, four, five, six there are trees is pretty loaded. And maybe we just cut this and see um against that rule we can bring one, two, three, four cards in. Five, maybe six, seven. So uh plenty of sideboard options against aggro. Um Do I wanna splash for Kiora? We do have to fix, like it's not that we don't have five fix for a single card. I mean that should suffice. Uh two of the cards do deal damage to us. Um, well, in Tempo Garden, maybe Hinterland Harbor should come into play untapped. Uh, Hello, Fountain, you know, it's just a main color fix. Hmm, 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 hmm. Why do we have too many good cards? Is Oz better than Condemn? I think it isn't because, yes, it saves me time, but 
person is gonna draw, draw the card anyway later on. I think Condemn is a bit better. Do we get one with sword by color? Lots of blue, some white, and one green. And we have one blue, that's white, that's blue, that's both, that's white, so that's about even. Um, so we probably want 6-6. Uh, six, six. Let's see what it suggests. It's probably saying like one forest here. I think this is a bit better. And then we have. Really? Did I not get all of them there? And then we have 8-8-1. Eight, eight, um, then the fairy is maybe a bit too hard to cast. And we want descendant in over the fairy. And just bring in the fairy against control decks. Like this. Uh the fairy in against control decks. Yeah. The reason I do it like this is because of the mana base. Like having three islands. Well, it does seem somewhat likely. It does seem somewhat likely. I have three islands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sources. It is pretty good to trap people. And as soon as it's in play, like, your creatures having flashes. Bonkers. Um... Is better than that now. Let's submit and I'll see you guys for round one.